out of his bottom will pop the next clue from this strategically placed dispenser here. Hey guys, what's up? LD Charlotte here. Welcome back to the world of Crazy Craft. Today I am sending my friends on a little booty quest. A quest for booty. And by booty, I mean pirate booty, treasures, you know, that kind of stuff. So we just have to find some old stuff laying around that we can gift to them and then set up some clues so that they have to go through some elaborate process to actually receive said gifts. So let's see what we have lying around. Okay. You know what? Turns out, don't have a lot of great stuff. So, ugh, Joel's house is still hideous. What do you give the people that have everything they already want? <gasps> a pet. Yes, a pet. What kind of pet should we give them? Are you even my owl? You aren't even my owl. Whose owl are you? Who do you belong to? Why are you here? What's in that chest? A door. Yay. Okay, so apparently I don't have anything cool lying around my house. So I'm going to go look at everyone's houses and select a gift that is suited to each one of them. Let's see, Joel has a small backpack collection. You know what I think he needs? More backpacks, yes. So these are the gifts that I've selected for Joel. We have the pumpkin backpack with a pumpkin, a book backpack with the bookshelves to sit on, a rainbow backpack with a rainbow to sit on, and a horse with some brown wool to sit on. So that is what I'm gonna put at the end of the booty trail for him. Let's see, who else shall we do this for? Let's go see if Yami is missing anything in her life that we can provide for her today. I feel like everyone's been on the server for so long already and everyone has access to creative mode. So if somebody really wanted something, they would have it by now. So. Oh, oh gosh, I thought that was a real yummy. <laughs> I feel like an idiot. Hello, Yami's house. <gasps> you know what she might need? Some Five Nights at Freddy's figurines to put on that stage there. Am I right? <laughs> yes, I'm right. I'm always right. So let's just give her some Five Nights at Freddy mannequins. So this is what I'm going to be giving Yami if she manages to complete my booty quest. She will have these lovely mannequins to put up here on her stage and spook out all of her guests, but only if she completes my quest. Okay, it's taking a lot longer to break this than I thought it would. Dang it. I'm just punching Marionette in the crotch. Okay, there we go. Thank you. I'm gonna head this way to part of the map that I rarely visit to Lauren's place, which has actually changed a lot since the last time I was here. Lauren's house under construction. Okay, maybe she needs some kind of work helmet so she can complete construction without injury. Who is she spying on? Nobody, apparently. This just points right at the wall. So since I don't really know what Lauren's gonna have going on in here, I don't wanna give her any decorative items, so I'm gonna give her some inventory pets, but I'm going to rename them, because you guys told me I could do that. So instead of Silverfish Pet, I'm gonna give her Mortimer the Silverfish. How cute. And I will call the April Fool's Pet Joey. Get it? Because Joey's a fool. <laughs> okay, so if Lauren finishes the quest, then she will get Joey and Mortimer, but only if she finds the booty. Oh man, I can already tell I'm approaching Scott's house because there are just boyfriends floating in the air. <gasps> are these all the backpacks he has? Boy, you need some more backpacks. It looks like Scott has some gaps in his backpack collection, so I'm gonna give him this blue and green one to hopefully complete his wall of backpacks here. So that is what Scott will get if he finds the booty. Yes, I'm leaving you now. First of all, the first thing I wanna make them do is catch a fish. I want to see if some of them are clever enough to use their ocelot pet or if they all get a fishing rod and literally try and fish up a fish. So I'm going to make a giant ocelot. Where should I put this ocelot? Should I just put it around the back of my house? Ta-da! It's the new king of the jungle! So I built this huge ocelot in my back garden here, basically fulfilling all of my life goals to own a giant cat. And now we just need to incorporate the clue. So the first clue is going to be... Find the king of the jungle and bring him what he desires most, which is obviously a fish, because he is an ocelot. A kawaii ocelot, I give him his little kawaii eyes because he's so cute. So all you have to do is locate the feed hole of the ocelot, which happens to be on the top of his head here. Put a fish in there, it will accept the fish, and out of his bottom will pop the next clue from this strategically placed dispenser here. So the clue is very simply, what's going on inside CPK's head? Shut up, buddy. Which will hopefully lead them to check CPK's head. And this clue shall be called another clue. Pop that in the butt up there. And now let's go and set up the next part at CPK's head. So this is the famous CPK's head amongst all the other people's heads on the server. But if you look closely, you will see that his nose 
is actually a door. And behind the door, a hole, a cavern in CPK's mind. Wow, looks dark. Are you sure you wanna jump? Personally, if it was me, I actually wouldn't jump down there because like I said, it's pretty dark. For all they know, all that's waiting for them down there is death. However, what actually awaits them is a magical journey through rainbows and then water. And then I built this little archery course down here. A test of their skill if they want to win my booty. So, how good is your aim? Only one of them is the clue. There are a lot of decoys here. Only one of them actually reveals the clue and the rest are just really bad things that are gonna happen to them. So, I also left them a bow and arrow here in this chest so they can pick one of these, but I also left them a quiver pet and I encourage them to use rapid mode on the river pet if they are a boss. So let me demonstrate that and I will show you what lies behind all of these buttons. So the rapid mode on this quiver is actually pretty funny because it gives you this soundtrack to your life, which is um, quite appropriate for the archery. So I'm just gonna hit some of these. I actually, oh my God, that's blooming loud. Um, how do I, um, uh, Okay, so I'm just gonna hit some of the targets now and show you what's what. I actually can't remember what order I put them in. And hopefully none of the people that are about to do the booty quest are watching this, so no spoilers. Let's see what this one is. <gasps> okay, that one is the darkness. That actually took me a little bit by surprise there. I wasn't expecting that one. So that one's definitely darkness. What does this one do? What? Oh no, not the nausea. Okay, just gonna, ugh. I should have put some milk down here. Why didn't I think of that? There's nothing I can do to make me feel better. I just feel so sick right now. Okay, maybe 30 seconds is a little bit long for that nausea effect. I feel like I might actually make somebody throw up, but that's what you have to go through for the booty quest. These are the perils that they face. Ugh, okay, I feel a lot better now. So what is this one? Ah! Oh, oh, no, no, no! Oh, it's Flabby Butt McGee. Totally forgot about that one. That button's actually so close, I just, I just pushed it with my hand instead of firing an arrow at it. Whoops. Okay, let's try this one back here. Ah, what was that? Oh, oh, it was an arrow from there. Blum and neck. Let's go a little higher to this one. The ones at the back are actually a lot harder to hit. So good luck to them. Ah, why is this so hard? Oh, okay, summoned a squid right in front of me. Hey, Derp, how's it going? Just gonna kill you. Good night, Mr. Derp. How about this one? What was that? Oh, oh no! Oh my gosh, that one's lava. Totally forgot about that. Um, oh my gosh, rest in peace me. Oh, I don't goofed. Oh, why did I do this? Why did I do this? Why did I put a lava dispenser? How am I gonna fix this? So, like I said, lots of perils await them. Oh, okay, luckily no damage was done, but if there were people down here, people would have definitely died. So, very dangerous. This is a dangerous quest for the booty. Uh, let's try this one. <gasps> oh, okay, that one just plays the creepy noise. Okay. Okay, so I believe that we've tested all of them. Now all we need to do is put the clue in place ready for them to receive it. So for the next clue, I'm gonna send them to a different dimension where I'm going to build a giant moose temple. Let's try send them to the brown ant dimension. If it's not cute, we're not going. Um, okay, we're on a giant tree in the middle of nowhere. Um, this is the super laggy dimension. I know this quest has a lot of perils in it, but super lag is not one of them that I was thinking of. So I'm gonna just go back. Go to the red ant dimension where a friendly moose awaits you. So this is all set up. The archery course is ready. Let's just get out of here. I don't know how they're gonna get out of here. Hopefully they find a way to escape because I did not build in an escape route. Now all we have to do is go to the red ant dimension and build the moose temple. Okay, yeah, this is perfect. Lots of open space, lots of cassowaries. This is where we will build the moose temple. And voila, here is the moose temple in the shape of a moose's head. Inside, it looks pretty empty, not a lot going on here, you might be confused, but if you walk through the secret wall, you'll go down a staircase. I'm still working on it. Um, not sure what part of the moose this technically is, but I'm gonna go for throat. And then I think, oh, it would be cool if we could have like a water slide in here that leads down into like the stomach area. All right, not sure how scientifically accurate this is, but this is the moose's stomach and this is where they will land when they reach the bottom of this water slide. Oh, we should decorate this with like food stuff. That would be cute. Um, let's put some carrot cake in because this moose been eating some carrot cake. Gross, gross. This is totally inaccurate. A stomach would never look like this, by the way, guys. Let's just put a pot of honey, yes. This makes total sense. 
potato pile yeah why not just i mean what what else would you use this potato pile for of course this is the only use oh let's see if we can get some skulls so we've got some cute cakes here that's a steve head okay apparently the moose has been eating steve's head there we go there's the cake so the moose hasn't been eating steve's don't worry it's just been eating some cake also some cookies. Ooh, little cookie bites, that's cute. Let's have some little mini burgers because he's been to a little garden party. He's been picking out on the uh, finger foods. A little bit, just a little bit. Ooh, let's add chocolate. Mmm, yes, this looks delicious. Put that all up on the walls. An Oreo sandwich. <gasps> that looks amazing, wow. I'm so jealous of all the foods this moose gets to eat. <laughs> I want these foods. Some little pancakes. Oh my god, that looks amazing. Some popcorn, complete with popcorn box. The moose just shoves it all in his mouth. He doesn't care. We should give him a name. We should call him Marty the Moose. I'm gonna call him Marty, yes. And he eats all kinds of unhealthy foods, as you can tell. In order to proceed through the moose, our intrepid adventurers will have to go down here. Okay, so this is where you emerge from once you've come out of the stomach, and this is the prize room where everyone will collect their prizes. Ta-da! The prize room. Doesn't it look beautiful, considering that it is at the back end of a moose? <laughs> Let's put some chests in for each of our participants. One for Joel, one for Yami, one for Lauren, one for Scott. Instead of putting a plain old sign, I'm going to put their heads on top of it. So that they will know whose is who. So this is Joel's. Ta-da! Ooh, that looks funky. And now, this is Yami's. This is Lauren's. And this is Scott's. Now let's put all of their prizes in. So Joel had all the backpack stuff. Yami had all the Five Nights at Freddy's mannequins. We gave Lauren, <laughs> Mortimer and Joey. And we gave Scott the two backpacks, which actually seems like a really lame prize now that I think about it. So I'm just gonna throw in a tentacle or two, or eight. And that is it, that is complete. Oh wait, hang on. This is the perfect opportunity to make myself a pedestal with my face on it. Ta-da! <gasps> this looks awesome! Oh my gosh, squids keep falling down here. The moose ate some squids, I guess. So let's get the heck out of here. And now all we have to do is give everybody their first clue so that they know there is booty waiting for them. And then hopefully they will all be able to find it. The clues are pretty simple. I'd be really worried about their intelligence if they couldn't actually figure it all out. So here's the chest with the introduction book in it. It reads, Do you want booty? Well, you're in luck. To get started on your quest for booty, find the new king of the jungle and bring him what he desires the most. Now in case you can't figure that out, that's the giant ocelot I built in the new jungle. And this is me! I'm gonna raise my arm slightly. So we just need to put one of these in everyone's house, and then the quest can begin. Whoever completes it first gets nothing, because it's not a race. Don't rush. Well, what? Why is Yami now Princess Leia? I, I, what? What's, what, what has happened? Ta-da! It's like I'm pointing to it. <laughs> and then over here we'll do Lauren's clue. And then finally, let's put Scott's clue right here. Okay, or not. Boop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Crazy Craft. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. Let me know what you thought of all the clues I came up with and the scenery I built to go along with it. And don't forget to check out everyone else's videos of them completing the booty quest. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.